You, wanna, you, you can spin it back and forth, okay? Just try to keep it pointed at either you or at me, okay? Ready? I swear I intend to keep this video brief. Uh, we talk a lot about wet dry wet rigs on this channel. I've done more than one tutorial on how to set up a wet dry wet rig on this channel. And even as recently as this week at time of filming, we covered the Universal Audio Aux Stomp, wherein at the end of that video, we again looked at it through the lens of a wet dry wet rig. So I had a revelation recently and it got stuck in my brain so much so that I went out and bought a new recording interface so that I could test a idea that was just kind of rattling around in my brain and I'm not kidding I have an Apollo X8P rack interface over here on the desk now and it is there because this idea got stuck in my head and I wanted to try it. So let's talk about it. Before we get into it, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by DistroKid. If you are somebody who is looking to publish music, take it from me, DistroKid is worth your time and attention. They are a great sponsor for this channel because I've been using DistroKid for far longer than they have been sponsoring this channel. Honestly, I've been using DistroKid longer than I have had this channel. Uh, I've, been, I've been releasing music since early 2010s and when it came time to release my old band's first EP, I did some research and the obvious choice was DistroKid. And here we are, basically a full decade later, and that holds true in my opinion. Their service is crazy simple, super affordable, gets your music everywhere it needs to be. And I just am such a big fan of what it is that they do. So uh, to get your music in front of your audience, use DistroKid. Uh, for 7% off your first subscription to DistroKid, use the link in my description and it will help out the channel. Back to the video. So first things first, this is not technically wet, dry, wet in terms of inputs in our DAW. This is technically, depending on how you want to slice it, wet, wet, dry, wet, wet, or wet, wet, dry, dry, wet, wet. I should explain. Here's the thing. Wet, dry, wet rigs often require a lot of extra hardware to pull off. And the beauty of what we did here is that it doesn't actually require a bunch of extra hardware. Here's the bigger thing. This is all being built off of a single tube amplifier. We are building a wet, wet, dry, dry, wet, wet rig off of the matchless lightning right here and the universal audio aux, not the aux stomp, the aux box itself. And this is kind of a studio only trick, but I find that wet, dry, wet is often most valuable in the studio for mixing purposes. And live, you can often get, a, get away a lot cleaner with just stereo or a much more simplified version of wet, dry, wet than we're using in this context. The Universal Audio Aux has a couple of different outputs on the back of it. 
uh, I almost exclusively use, because I, I basically only use the aux in the studio, I basically exclusively use the optical output, that spadiff output on the back of the aux, sending signal over optical to my recording interface. And the reason I do that is because it sounds better than the balanced outputs on the back of the aux, in my opinion. Uh, there is no additional gain staging to be done. The way that the aux talks to the Apollo rack interface is just, just perfect. It's, it's the easiest way to get your aux running in your system, assuming you use Apollo stuff, uh, that I have ever dealt with, and I love the way it sounds. But you can also use those stereo balanced uh, outputs on the back of the aux in tandem. Those would normally be used for live use or with a different non-optical enabled, a, an interface that doesn't have a SPDIF or an ADAT input on the back of it. But uh, here in the studio, we have access to a bunch of inputs now. We have two inputs on our Apollo Twin and eight additional inputs on our X8P. So what we did is run my kind of dry gain staging, my, my Yuna, the Benson Germanium Boost and the 1981 Inventions uh, LVL into the front of our amplifier, into the aux. And from there, we zeroed out all of the effects built into the aux, that stereo plate and all that stuff. And we also zeroed out the uh, stereo room reverb. So we are just dealing with our mono microphones, our just kind of like on cabinet mics. That dry signal processes out to our DAW and then from the left send, we send to the input of a stereo delay. And from the right send on the back of that unit, we send to the input of a stereo reverb. And because we are not using any stereo processing inside of the aux, we are getting a identical signal, no potential phase issues, no potential weirdness to both our delay and our reverb, which means we have our dry center channel guitar and then we also have stereo delay and stereo reverb in parallel with one another, in parallel with our dry. We are not playing a balancing act of our delays and our reverbs alongside one another in some sort of faux wet dry kind of environment. This is proper access to your totally wet delay, access to your totally wet reverb and your dry signal in the form of three stereo pairs in our DAW. Is this practical? I don't know, probably not. Is this really, really cool? I think so, to me at least. So uh, yeah, that's that's the whole purpose of this video. I, I got this thing stuck in my head of how viable is it to use a single aux to build an entire wet, dry, wet, you know, rig. And it turns out it's pretty easy. We're using essentially the UA Starlight and the UA Golden as our delay and our reverb. And each of those is going to a DI box, but they wouldn't have to. I think they both have balanced outputs and you could use a stereo delay or a stereo reverb that has balanced outputs and basically just run that ADAT to your interface as well as four TRS cables and be done with the entire thing, which is a pretty, honestly, a pretty simplified way of being able to put together something this robust and that offers you this much flexibility in terms of post recording level balancing and everything. So this was just a weird thing that got stuck in my head and uh, I wanted to share it with you. I know that a lot of you guys have auxes or similar load boxes like that. Um, this might be useful to you. Maybe you've never considered this. Maybe this is definitely not for you. I think for most of you, this is probably not helpful or interesting and i'm sorry but you clicked on the video so uh we're gonna listen to some sound samples really quick and then we will be on our way also this is a boulevardier it's very good uh follow me on instagram if you want to see cocktails i make yeah link in bio i guess